Welcome to our video on how to improve your conversations. Whether you're trying to build better relationships with colleagues, friends, or family members, effective communication skills are essential for success. In this video, we'll be exploring the key concepts from Patrick King's book, Improve Your Conversations. We'll cover the art of active listening, asking the right questions, maintaining the flow of a conversation, and handling difficult conversations. We'll also discuss the importance of storytelling, using humor, and building connections with others. By the end of this video, you'll have practical tips and strategies that you can use to enhance your communication skills and become a better conversationalist. So let's get started. Chapter 1. The Foundations of a Great Conversation In this chapter, King lays out the basic principles that underpin effective communication. He emphasizes the importance of being present in the moment, paying attention to the other person, and approaching the conversation with curiosity and openness. King also stresses the importance of setting the right tone and maintaining a positive attitude. Chapter 2. The Art of Listening In this chapter, King delves into the art of active listening. He provides practical tips for improving listening skills, such as focusing on the speaker, eliminating distractions, and using nonverbal cues to show that you are engaged. King also discusses how to respond appropriately to what the other person is saying by paraphrasing or summarizing what they said and avoiding interrupting. Chapter 3. Asking the Right Questions this chapter focuses on the importance of asking good questions to keep a conversation flowing and to demonstrate interest in the other person. King provides examples of open-ended questions and discusses how to avoid closed-ended questions, which can halt a conversation. Chapter 4. The Flow of a Conversation In this chapter, King provides strategies for maintaining the flow of a conversation. He discusses the importance of avoiding topic switches, staying on track, and using transitional phrases to move from one topic to another. King also offers tips for asking follow-up questions to keep the conversation going. Chapter 5. Conversation Killers This chapter identifies common conversation killers, such as interrupting, dominating the conversation, and changing the subject abruptly. King provides strategies for avoiding these behaviors and keeping a conversation engaging. He also discusses the importance of body language and how to use it to signal that you are interested in what the other person is saying. Chapter 6. Becoming a Storyteller In this chapter, King discusses the art of storytelling and how it can be used to engage others in a conversation. He provides tips for constructing a compelling story such as setting the scene, using vivid descriptions, and creating a narrative arc. King also emphasizes the importance of tailoring the story to the audience and using appropriate humor. Chapter 7. Using Humor Effectively This chapter focuses on the use of humor in conversations. King discusses the benefits of humor, such as reducing tension and building rapport, and provides tips for using humor effectively. He also emphasizes the importance of being aware of cultural differences and avoiding offensive or insensitive jokes. Chapter 8. Handling Difficult Conversations In this chapter, King provides strategies for handling difficult conversations, such as disagreements or sensitive topics. He emphasizes the importance of staying calm and composed, using active listening skills, and acknowledging the other person's perspective. King also discusses how to handle difficult personalities and provides tips for escalating conflicts. Chapter 9. Connecting with People This chapter focuses on how to connect with people on a deeper level. King discusses the importance of finding common ground, showing empathy, and being authentic. He also provides strategies for building rapport and developing trust such as finding shared interests and using open body language. Chapter 10. Building Relationships In this chapter, King discusses how to build long-term relationships through effective communication. He emphasizes the importance of consistency, 
showing appreciation, and being a good listener. King also provides tips for maintaining relationships, such as staying in touch and finding ways to add value to the other person's life. Chapter 11, Taking Action In the final chapter, King summarizes the key points of the book and provides guidance on how to take action to improve one's communication skills. He emphasizes the importance of practice and persistence and encourages readers to take small steps towards improving their conversations. King also provides additional resources for further learning and development. To summarize, we've covered some of the key concepts from Improve Your Conversations by Pat Rick King. We've discussed the foundations of a great conversation, the art of active listening, and how to ask the right questions. We've also explored the importance of maintaining the flow of a conversation, using humor effectively, and building connections with others. Now, it's your turn. What do you think of the ideas we've discussed in this video? Have you read Improve Your Conversations or any other books on effective communication? We'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.